and we're back my students and today we're going to learn how to make we're going to use the text tool right now and we're going to learn how to modify it with uh, with the gradients as well first we're going to uh, type in what we want to type which is the welcome okay now here as you can see on the upper left portion of the screen you can make the modifications of creating the size or uh, the different kinds of things that we can do such as uh, modify it or you can just type it in uh, anything that is uh, necessary to create the design and you can change it to bold italic or bold italic uh, depending on what you what your preferences or what fits the design at the same time we can also change the <clears throat> The, the type of fonts that we're going to use, we can use a, a very rough and rugged font such as Dem, which would, uh, would be fitting for some of the rock bands, heavy metal, or horror movie types of genres, or something that is uh, out of, or kind of edgy. Now, we can also use some of the different fonts such as Welcome uh, Terminal, Tempest, Tehoma, or something like a team sport of some sort. We can also use sugar debt as well. Uh, as you can see here, it's conveying a different kind of meaning with or with the fonts here. As you can see, each font has its own kind of communication, a visual communication of uh, what it's trying to convey a message to. As you can see, if we were trying different fonts here, which uh, it's telling a different kind of thing. If it says welcome with uh, sugar debt, uh, as you can see a while ago, which is kind of a grizzly one, it's kind of showing this, uh, <clears throat> not a welcoming uh, kind of portion, but kind of a, a fish kind. Uh, now, we're going to try to use some of the modifications here for for this portion. Uh, I'm going to, to use some of the text uh, editing tools here so that we can make some, uh, uh, some of these uh, kind of effects. As you can see here, if we make the stroke uh, borders here, uh, you, what what with the gradients that we just used from our previous lecture here you can see some of the uh, some of the effects on the borders here uh, it's creating this uh, rainbowish effect now we can choose between the two or we can make the modifications of different sorts of genres or styles or types that we can do or if you don't like any types you can just press the X portion here so that there won't be any uh, distractions or anything that would appear in particular now, <clears throat> we can also change uh, the width of the stroke style, meaning the borders that surrounds the text. Now, <clears throat> if you want to change the style within the text, we can always choose the gradients here at the fill portion. It will change uh, gradually. And if we want to make a stroke here that seems to be more visible than usual okay uh, i'm just going to make some modifications here just uh, wait a few moments okay now <clears throat> now all right okay we can also make some uh, changes on the opacity how big and how far it is uh, with the opacity it has the ability to change or you can see through the the, the modification of the of the welcome page text as you can see if we it is also you can also use the tool on the upper portion here which is the x y and z you can change the ratio the proportion of everything and you can also make a rotation to uh, whatever you like uh, if you use the move tool you will be able to see that on the upper left portion of the screen of the tools section okay We can also make a rotation of the tool as well. I'm just showing you that everything that we're doing is uh, somewhat universal. So we're going to, okay, we just have to select this so that we'll be able to see the how we can modify this. Now, now we're going to use this here so that you'll be able to see the borders. As you can see, the borders are getting becoming, starting to become visible now. Uh, we're just going to choose something of more of a blunt borderline so that we'll be able to see the visibility of it now okay now we can make some modifications here and there okay 
Now, since we've already, uh, you can also choose not to have that as well. <clears throat> since we made all the proper modifications, uh, you can also choose some of these portions here. You can choose a smooth edge or a pointed edge as well. Now, there is also that we can change the thickness of each stroke. You can also change the opacity into what we just mentioned a while ago. Now we managed to overtake all everything. I'll see you in the next lecture.